help a stranger who asked her for some change. But a woman ended up being severely injured when the robber ran over her with his car. 49-year-old Peggy Allen says the person responsible for this brutal attack is still on the loose. The crime happened Friday at a gas station in Frankfurt. Tonight, Dave Spencer talked to the victim, who's still trying to recover from her numerous injuries. She was knocked unconscious after being robbed at this gas station. Now, nearly a week later, she says the pain is still unbearable. Peggy Allen says she's in this condition. I would say I might have to learn to rewalk and everything. All over $30. He approaches me and said that he had went over, do I have some change? She says she pulled out what little money she had. When he seen that, he grabbed for the money. Allen says she chased him back to his car. I think it was like a blue turquoise green. It might be a Camry. Where a woman driver was waiting. He says, take off, take off, take off. Allen says she then reached in the car to keep them from leaving, and the man grabbed her back. I'm hanging on. I said, oh, my God. I threw, put my legs up. Bend my legs under because I just knew that I'm going to be drugged. She says she was dragged from the gas station to Main Street when he finally let her go. I hit the concrete on her car. It broke this leg, and then when it ran over this side, it broke this leg, crushed my ankle. The ordeal knocked her unconscious. When Alan came to, she learned the extent of her injuries. It's possible I might lose half of the left leg if they put the pins and plates and I don't have enough circulation for that. She also learned that the two people responsible were still out there somewhere. Please come forward. I might lose my leg. You know, I might, I might not never be able to walk around. I don't even know yet. Alan says this gas station was fairly crowded that night and she's confident that somebody saw something and now she's hopeful that person will come forward. In Frankfurt, Dave Spencer, WKYT 27 News First.